So guys, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this, we're going to type in disk part. Click on enter. And now you want to type in list space disk. Click on enter again. So guys, now you want to stick the disk that you want to disable the protection feature on. So in my case, I've only got one disk, so that's why I've only got disk zero. But you might have multiple disks, so you want to choose the correct one. To know which one is the correct one, it will show you what the size is. So in my case, I've only got one disk and it's 80 gigabytes. For this tutorial, I'm going to have to go with this one because it's the only disk that I have. But you may have multiple ones. If you want to find out which one's which, you will see it from the size. So now once you have the disk that you want to select, you want to type in select space disk space. And then you want to put the number that will appear right here. So in my case, I've only got select disk zero. But in your case, it might be something else. But I'm going to type in select disk zero and I click on enter. So type in select space disk space and then put the number of the disk that you want to select. And now disk zero for me is now the selected disk. And now once you've done that, now you want to type in attribute space disk space clear space read only and click on enter. In your case, it should say for you that disk attributes cleared successfully. I'm using a virtual machine, so that's why I have this error. But in your case, it should be fixed. Now you just want to restart your computer and then you should be good to go.